Kids Live. Today we're talking about the history of the whoopee cushion. The other day I was procrastinating on a big project and I decided to go down the rabbit hole doing a deep dive to learn everything I could possibly learn about the whoopee cushion, including, by the way, for any grown-ups listening, did you know that Whoopi Goldberg was not born Whoopi Goldberg. Her actual name is Karen Elaine Johnson. Now just grown-ups try picturing Whoopi Cushion and calling her Karen. Karen Elaine Johnson. Apparently her friends used to compare her to a Whoopi Cushion. Why? I'll leave that up to our own imaginations. But she was amused and she decided to rebrand herself as Whoopi and then added the last name Goldberg later. So she became she gave herself the stage name Whoopi Goldberg. Oh no. Anywho, we were talking about uh Whoopi cushions. They were invented by a rubber company in Toronto back in nineteen thirty. And they originally had lots and lots of different names like uh boop boop dupes and poo poo cushions and uh, flatulent baggies, tooting air sacs, raspberry cushions. But I want you to uh, imagine that you are working at that rubber company back in 1930, and you and your fellow workers have just invented this whoopee cushion, but it had no name yet. And you had to come up with a name for the whoopee cushion. So let's go back to 1930. That's our sound going back in time. We're going to go now to... Massachusetts, where Wren is standing by. Good morning, Wren. Good morning. Wren, we've just invented a bag of toots that's going to stand the test of time. What should we call it? Do you have a name for this thing? Um, toot bag. Toot bags. Oh, a toot bag. <laughs> I almost like that more than whoopee cushion. A toot bag. And um, and what if I were to ask you how it works? How does it work? Do you do you toot into the bag? Yeah. You toot into the bag. Toot bags. There you go. Red, great idea. Thank you so much for calling. Let's go to Texas now where uh, we've got Tony and Tony standing by. Tony Jr. and his dad, Tony. Good morning, buddies. Hello. Hello. All right. So you two put your heads together. And you've come up with better names for the whoopee cushion. What did you come up with? Tootie Fruity. Tootie Fruity. Oh, I like it. What about you, Dad? Cheeky Sneaky. Cheeky Sneaky. Or the Sneaky Cheeky. <laughs> Either way. Either way, it always sneaks up on you. You didn't see it coming. Tutti Fruity and Sneaky Cheeky, Cheeky Sneaky. I love it. You should be in charge of naming pranks from now on. These are good. These are really good. Why, thank you. Ha have a great day, buddies. Let's go to Tennessee now where Jacob and his mom, Stephanie, have been bonding over this. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Uh, I bet you when you woke up this morning, you did not dream that you'd be coming up with a better name for a whoopee cushion, but here we are. Tell here us what you are. came Actually, up with. Here we are. Actually, my son is obsessed with fart, poop, anything that, and he actually has a whoopee cushion that he found this weekend, so I thought it was perfect to call in. Perfect. So you put your heads together. You came up with a better name for it. Yep. What is it? Jacob, do you want to tell him what it is? What do we come up with? Booty bubble. The booty bubble. That what? These are so good. <laughs> whoop, whoop! I think I just sat on a booty bubble. This is so good. <laughs> this is great. Thank you both so much for calling. I think your whoopee cushion should be renamed the booty bubble. Yeah. Have, have a great day. Now remember. We're not bringing any of this whoopee cushy tootie talk to school, okay? So if you're on your way to school today, you got to leave it in the car, all right? Take everything else with you to school, but leave the whoopee cushion tootie talk in the car, all right? Everyone, are we all in agreement? Okay. Let's stress the light.